Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. I'm Brian Natto on a 10 race card Sunday that wraps up our first full week at the championship meet. Let's take a look at the track and weather conditions and turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello. Racing at Gulfstream. Check to last at the break was Island Winter. Away first, adios, Dixie headed off for the early advantage. Saya is riding Forge ahead to try to keep the rail spot. She's up to challenge from second. Golden Bow on the outside, now third. Black Silk is back to fourth. They've gone two ahead of Alarm Clock, who's outside of Monica Queen. Mudshaft is next. A gap of three to Crooklyn, and after the slow getaway, Island Winter is last. Around the far turn, they race three wide. Golden Bow from between Adios Dixie along the rail. Forge ahead. Alarm clock getting a great stalking set up behind the embattled trio. She's now four wide, and she's on the attack at the 5 16th, trying to get Golden Bow, who has the lead. Top of the stretch, Golden Bow by a neck. Alarm clock. Blame Dixie. Forge ahead. Then Black Silk. Three back to Mudshaft, and they're at the top of the stretch. It's Alarm Clock with the momentum off the corner. She has the lead. Blame Dixie fights back toward the rail. Golden Bow is not done yet. She's between horses. And and it's a four-length margin to Mudshaft, who's now fourth, final 16th of a mile. Blame Dixie, she's very game. Alarm clock right alongside, but Blame Dixie digs in her heels and she won't let her by. Blame Dixie is in front. Second is alarm clock, third. Golden Bow, then Mudshaft. And they're up. Shuffled to back to last at the break was Bronx. Good start on the far outside for Sir Aggravator. Ask for Bodie and uh, from between runners, Abhar. These three fly, and they've opened four on 61. After an inconvenience beginning, it's Bronx who's up to fifth ahead of Frankie Z, and Westerly Wind is last. They go to the half-mile point, still three on the top end here with Sir Aggravator three wide, Abhar from between, and Ask for Bodie along the rail. They're five ahead of 61, who's now racing in fourth. Frankie Z up to the outside of Bronx. He's into fifth, and the trailer is still westerly wind. Quarter time, a quick and contested 22 seconds flat, less than three furlongs to race. Up front, it's now Sir Aggravator, who wins the tussle with Ask for Bodie, who's not finished yet. Vasquez angles him to the outside. Meanwhile, 61 is running home. Bronx is underway while trying to wheel wide for the drive. He floats out Frankie Z. Westerly wind last. Sir Aggravator still first. Sir Aggravator an eighth of a mile from home and two on top. Ask for Bodie second, 61 third. Bronx is fourth. Nobody running home. Sir Aggravator and Kaya is still clear. It's Sir Aggravator off the long layoff. Will win well prepared at 12 to one. It's going to be close for second. 61 surges to get second. Also close for third between the favorites Bronx and Ask for Bodie. 111 and one for the six furlong.
They're off. From Between Horses, Sweet Actress gets the first call. Jazzy T has speed. Down at the inside, My Tommy Lee taken in hand. And moving over from the high draw, Dreaming of Audrey, she'll land a joint third. A skew is next, and the two at the back, Magna Colors and Cha-Cha Mission. And the run around the first turn, Sweet Actress on the inside, Jazzy T on the outside, their heads apart. They're two and a half better than Dreaming of Audrey, who races in third from My Tommy Lee at the rail fourth. A skew is fifth, sixth is Cha Cha Mission, and that means Magna Colors is seventh and last as Jazzy T kicks on. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter speed. It's Jazzy T in front to the back stretch run. She leads while working off the inside. The rail is open for Sweet Actress, but she's not quick enough to come on through. Actually, she doesn't want to come on through. The Bug Boy took her in hand and angles to the outside. Two back to third running, Dreaming of Audrey, then my Tommy Lee and Askew, still lingering at the back are Cha Cha Mission and Magna Colors. They move past the half mile mark with Jazzy T in 48 and 4 for a half mile speed. She leads by a length. Sweet Actress is second, Dreaming of Audrey is third, my Tommy Lee is fourth, Askew fifth, Magna Colors and Cha Cha Mission at the back as they round the far turn. Nobody's got near Jazzy T yet. Now Sweet Actress plays her hand well second. Two back to Dreaming of Audrey third. My Tommy Lee is fourth. Up on the outside, Askew begins to find her best stride with a quarter of a mile remaining. Jazzy T completes three quarters in 13 and two. She's on her way home with Sweet Actress on the outside, Dreaming of Audrey. And My Tommy Lee with Askew down the stand side, eighth of a mile to go. Dreaming of Audrey surging up on the outside with Askew to deal with. Dreaming of Audrey for a narrow lead, but Askew is surging up on the outside. A Askew's got her. Askew and Leparu going away to win it. Dreaming of Audrey with a good try. Second, closer for third. Either Jazzy T or Sweet Actress in 142 and four. And they're off. Excellent beginning for Perfect Provision and Biddy Boss. They're both forwardly placed, and they lead a length and a quarter from Bally Baby, who's away in third. Followed fourth by I Said Hey with Keen on Jenny. Velasquez trying to find racetrack for Halo of Fire, secures the inside spot. Now into a joint fourth. Out the back, Gracias, and it's Nora now. Past the half mile, perfect provision in Biddy Boss. They trade punches. They're into the far turn, three ahead of Bally Baby in third. Halo of Fire would still like some clear racetrack. She's about to find it. She's into fourth with decisions to make. Back to fifth, and I said, hey, then Gracias as they run around in the far turn with a quarter of a mile remaining. Perfect provision has the lead on the outside in Biddy Boss toward the inside. Halo of Fire on the far outside in Bally Baby. They straighten for the drive. Perfect provision has the lead. Fence is open. Here comes Halo of Fire down the stand side in Bally Baby. Final eighth of a mile. Halo of Fire handled like a master craftsman by John Velasquez. It's Halo of Fire to win it by two and a half. Bally Baby was second. Perfect provision third. Biddy Boss finished fourth. They're off. Good start for Destinique moving at the rail. That's Sylvanella on to take over. Sylvanella will lead in the run to the first turn. Shade Lee comes away in second from between horses. Divine Exchange wrangled back with Lady Cloverly moving three wide. Four wide is Uptown Queen and amongst rivals Destinique moving at the inside in Kaitany. Then back to double happiness third last. Second last is Cage running free. The early trailer is Miss Italy. Around the first turn they go, jockey Luis Saez and Sylvanetta have the lead by a length. Shady Lee is latched on to her second. Divine Exchange is a tugging third. Up to the outside, that's Lady Cloverly with Uptown Queen. Saving ground is Destiny, who's down toward the inside. A length and a half better than Double Happiness, who travels outside of Kaitany. Two at the back still remain Cage running free and Miss Italy. 
Down the back stretch they continue, less than half a mile to race. It's Sylvanella in front from the outset. She leads a length and a quarter. Shada Lee is second. Divine Exchange is third. Uptown Queen and the red colors on the outside, fourth. Up to fifth goes Destinique. Then Lady Cloverly. She's dropped back sharply now. Kaitani and Cage running for your next with double happiness. And Miss Italy has been last throughout as they round the far turn. 48 seconds for the opening half mile. Sylvanella still finding on the top end. She leads a length and a quarter. Divine Exchange wants to angle to her heels outside and up. Uptown Queen, Destinique, and the imaginary color swings widest of all under Vasquez, and they're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters, one twelve and three. Divine Exchange, loose and trying to catch Sylvanella, who's still in front. Eighth of a mile to go, Sylvanella leads. Divine Exchange continues to press the issue on the outside, and Destinique is charging hard. Destinique's got them both. Here's Destinique in time. Destinique wins by a going away length and a quarter from Sylvanella, who held second. Divine Exchange third, then double happiness in 142 and one. Start from the outside for Eye of the Temple, who's headed off for an advantage. Steel City Dude has speed, and Pharaoh's Prophecy driving through at the rail. Pharaoh's Prophecy kicks on with Steel City Dude. Away racing third is Eye of the Temple. Panorama Truck is next. The pink colors is the big favorite, Peter D. Outside him and Born and Gambler, the two at the back, are Procurador and Venezuelan Triumph. And they run around the first turn. Paco Lopez puts Pharaoh's Prophecy on the lead. Leads a length and a quarter. Steel City Dude defers while racing in second. Eye of a Temple is now third outside of him and Born a Gambler. Panorama Truck is in the light blue and white down toward the inside with big favorite Peter D. racing between horses. Still out the back, Venezuelan Triumph and Procurador. 25-3 and three for a very methodical opening quarter speed. Pharaoh's Prophecy now leads by only an act. Steel City Dude turns up the heat second, three wide, Eye of the Temple third, four wide, Born a Gambler fourth. Leonel Reyes starts to make some decisions for Peter D. He needs a way out. He's down at the inside while racing about three lengths behind. Venezuelan Triumph has him boxed in and Procurador is last. 50 and 4 for the opening half mile. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. A stacking, packing group. Five wide. Born a gambler. Peter D. trying to find racetrack behind him. At the rail, Farrell's prophecy is all in. A Steel City dude takes the lead. Still trying to work to the clear. Peter D. That's the storyline here. All the money's on and he wheels widest of all. Loose now with a quarter of a mile to go after three quarters. In 114 and 4, Steel City dude with Peter D. Coming on from between horses and born a gambler. Eighth of a mile to go. Born a Gambler goes with Peter D. These two kick on. Born a Gambler tries to get Peter D, but Peter D, the son of he's had enough, hasn't won. He wins by a length and a quarter. Very close for second. It's Dave Fox either way. Steel City dude inside. Born a Gambler outside in 143 and one.
They're off. Good start for Cool Quest, who heads off for the advantage. Picking up pennies, tries to challenge at the rail twice too many. On the far outside, it's Feast, and Casalsa is second last while only two behind. The early trailer is front-loaded. It was a step slower than the others to get going. The speed is on up front. Picking up pennies on the inside, Cool Quest on the outside, their heads apart. Twice too many looks to angle for racing room with Feast on his outside. Two and a half to Casalsa and front-loaded at the back. Less than three-eighths of a mile to run. Cool Quest has the lead. Out the rail, picking up pennies into the clear. Twice too many. Four back to Feast, who begins to drop back, trying to rally from the back as front-loaded. Casalsas has been count out kicked with a quarter of a mile remaining. Cool Quest comes away with the lead toward the outside. Twice too many toward the rail. It's uh, picking up pennies. Picking up pennies drops anchor. So now Cool Quest has one to fight off. It's twice too many who looms up alongside second eighth of a mile to go. Cool Quest, he's got a kick and he still leads. Twice too many is trying to get on terms, but he can't get by. Cool Quest, who will win it? Cool Quest and Leparu, three parts of a leg. Second, twice too many. Front loaded is up third. Fourth is picking up pennies in 102 and three. And they're off. Good start from between horses for Where's Joey and Zipline to Heaven. Down at the inside, race favorite Determined Fury looking for forward position on the far outside committee man and Richie as they line up for the early lead. From behind the speed while wide on the course is Aeronaut, then long shot CPA Genius. The Great Oz is second last and the trailer is Loyal Louie. The log jam continues on the four turn run as they're five across the course here. Five wide is Aeronaut toward the rail and zip line to heaven. Richie is between horses alongside Where's Joey. Committee man makes it a party. Now the favorite determined fury. He's got a wall of horses ahead of him. He's in the yellow and gold colors while trying to rally three lengths behind. Two and a half lengths to Loyal Louie. He's underway from last and they're at the top of the stretch. Up to take the lead is Richie. Determined fury needs racetrack down the center and Aeronaut backpedaling is Where's Joey. Eight of a mile to go. They're bouncing around behind the leader as Richie is clear with the two-length lead. Determined Fury is out of time, but Richie is in front. Richie wins from Determined Fury in second. Aeronaut was third. Uh, loyal Louie, he got up fourth in 57 and one. And they're off. From between horses, Rockstar Row was away quickly. Driving up on the outside, it's Private Island trying to work over. J.P. Hellish and Island Kamish have speed. Speeding through at the rail, Cole Kurt holds inside ground. In the run to the first turn, it's Cole Kurt with a neck advantage over J.P. Hellish in second. Three wide and Island Kamish. Not cornering and out over heels went Rockstar Row from fourth. Two back to Sig Run Fast Boy with Private Island on his outside. Then the team of Hurricane Hill together with Ombre. They've dropped about seven lengths behind. It's another two lengths back to He's a Kitten who's in the red colors about eight lengths off to go. Two and a half more to click a tat and the trailer is Uncle Fun. Down the back stretch they go. With the advantage, it's Island Commission on the outside. Call Kurt on the rail. They're doing each other no favors. They're three and a half better than J.P. Hellish. Beaten for speed third. Rockstar Row a bit better to handle while four, three wide fifth and Private Island. Ombre is six, improving to take seven as he's a fast or a, he's a kitten. Sig run fast boy down toward the rail, then back to Hurricane Hill. Click a tat still at the back with Uncle 
fun as the opening quarter and opening half mile was contested as they round that far turn. Call Kurt, badgered every yard by Island Commish. They're sitting ducks. Who gets the spoils? Here's Ombre looking for room. He's in the white shadow roll. Green cap wheeling to the far outside of a straighten for home. Up front, Call Kurt. He has the lead with work to do. He's a kitten. Takes aim second. Ombre over the top and splitting horses. Sig run fast boy. Final eighth of a mile. Sig run fast boy tries to reach Call Kurt. Ombre's motoring. Ombre down the center, surging. Ombre is in time. Ombre had the momentum under Louis Saez, and he ran down long shot. Sig run fast boy at 134 and two. Away. Meccano, the first to break the line, moving up on the outside, Sydney's bid with Cryptic Code trying to get over. In between horses goes Spring the Beast in the run to the first turn. Down inside and up to take the lead is Spring the Beast for Chantel. In front three parts of a length, Cryptic Creed is their second. Meccano's an early third. Poetic Code is off heels and checked back there under Paco. Moving up and around him went Sydney's bid. Splitting horses is Unified Conquest. Classic film is three wide. On hold behind them is Summer Shandy racing inside of El Brio. Out the back is Centrico and Morning Bisu. It's a tightly knit field as they complete the quarter in just 25 and one. There's five furlongs yet to race. Spring the Beast leads by half a length. Cryptic Creed on the outside. Second, McConnell's in the red colors. A joint third with Sydney's bit on the outside. Poetic Code needs some place to go. Splitting horses. Here's Unified Conquest on a mid-race move. Outside in classic film. Then comes Summer Shandy racing ahead of Albrio. Out the back while wide is Centrico and the trailer is Morning Bisu. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Up front Spring the Beast has taken constant pace pressure from Cryptic Creed who's up alongside second. Three wide out there goes Sydney's bin now third. Makano is next. Paco, he needs room. Poetic Code is down inside and is checked off heels. Trying to wind it up while wide on the course is Classic Film. Splitting horses in Summer Shandy. They fed across the course. Who do you like here? Cryptic Creed comes away with the lead. Poetic Code hasn't got through. Classic film down the stand side. Makano up the inside. Eighth of a mile to go. Jesus Rios and Cryptic Creed are finding. And Cryptic Creed on the board at 21 to 1. He'll win clearing off in the end. Cryptic Creed by four in the end. Classic film for second. Makano third. Summer Shandy fourth. And Poetic Code to complete your high five. And 144 and one. And that wraps up the 10 race Sunday card here at Gulfstream Park. We return Wednesday for a nine race card at 1230. What kicks off a five day racing week highlighted by Saturday's five graded stakes.